Hey, good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, good evening teacher. teacher. Good evening. Good. Did you have a good day? Yeah, teacher. Thank you. And you? A hot day. A hot day, right? Right now it's hot. Yeah. Is it? I feel that it's going to rain. That's why it's so hot. We hope the rain refresh, refreshes uh, the night. I hope because right now, oof, I feel I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh -huh. It seems that rain doesn't work in today's <laughs> right? That's what it looks like. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I'm glad everybody is here. Thank you for being on time and, and for coming. And we are going to continue a little bit about the topic from yesterday, which were modal verbs. Remember, we used the idea for modal verbs is a couple of things. Um, it's for requests and that we are going to specifically look at it, right? Uh, we have requests with modals, if clauses, and gerunds. Hi, everyone. Okay. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to right. ask for favors using models. Okay. So what do we have? Remember that top here, the first ones are like with friends. They are, they are, you can consider informal, right? Here, this is a normal situation. Uh, maybe at a restaurant, at a hotel, a coworker, okay? And then probably more formal is something very serious, like with your boss, your supervisor, um, maybe the police, something like that, okay? Those would be the ideas. Now, how do we form it? Okay, hang on. we'll put it right here. We use, right, we use the models. We have can, could, would. These are the ones that we use in all of them. And then of course we have like, we use a couple of clauses like if, okay? So do you mind or would you mind? We always use with ing. So if you say, do you mind going to the movies? Do you mind seeing something or would you mind? If you look at the examples here, it's with ing. If you put a person, for example, here, would you mind if I, ah, uh, then you can use the verbs in past in the past tense. But if it's only the action, is would you mind? And then ing. Now, why do we use it? Like I say, it's for a request, nothing big. Okay. So as an example, you want to borrow $20 from a friend. Which one do you think you use? If you want to borrow $20 from a friend, which expression would you use? Can I or could you? Could you. Yeah, that's right. Can I or could you? Because it's your friend, right? So you say, could you lend me $20? Or can I borrow $20? Now, this is important because in English, borrow and lend are two different actions. In Spanish is one word, but in English is two words. What is the difference? If you borrow money, you receive it, right? If you say, can you lend it? The person gives it to you. Like, let me give you an example that's easier to understand. If you go to Banco Agricola, you borrow money from Banco Agricola to buy a house. You do not lend Banco Agricola the money. Banco Agricola lends you the money. Okay, so Banco Agricola lends you the money and you, you borrow the money. Okay. Does that make sense? So, so, the difference yeah. yes, between borrowing. Uno es pedir Yes, mm -hmm. that's more the, That's more or less, that's right. So when we're talking about those things, here we have many different ways. Of course, we can use the first ones that we talked about. Can I, could I, that's the common one, right? 
Is it okay if I borrow? Uh, typical. These are ways, nice ways to say it. Okay. Now, maybe if you don't have a friend, it's not from a friend, you need to be more, more serious or you need to be a little bit more formal. But in general, it's okay with just using those expressions. Okay. As you can see here, can I, could I, is it okay? These are all less formal. Do you mind? Would you mind? Mm, maybe if it's not common for you to borrow money from a friend or if it's somebody you don't see too often, right? Then it would be more those expressions. But all of them have the same meaning. All of the things are the same. The only difference is... I have a, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. I, I have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. When we use, uh, would you mind if I borrow uh, with the verb in the past? Why? Why, teacher? Why we use in past? Because we are using with the if. If you look in the previous one, the model also with if uh -huh. borrowed. Okay. So it's because we use the would. It, and the would is uh, it's a different model. So we have to use the rule for that one is we use the verb in the past tense. Even if the action is in the present. Correct. Even if the action is in the present. Mm. Mm -hmm. So would you mind? Okay. If, okay. Uh huh. So that's the way we normally have it. So would you mind if I gave, uh, if I gave her some food, not if I give her some food. Richard, excuse me. Yes. Is that optional? Which part? Uh, uh, the verb in 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 past tense in this case or or is optional is an obligation or is an option um no it depends the, the the context but it's always supposed to be used in the past tense okay so because you're talking yes. about the situation so would you mind if i if i went to the store no if i go to the store so for example would you mind if i went uh, to the to the concert. So you're not going to say it's it's, it's like a a very a very polite way to to ask for something. Correct. I, I think. It's a very polite way. Yes. Now, are you going to hear Americans using the present tense? Of course, it's very common to hear the Americans or Canadians use the form in the present tense. Would you mind if I go? Uh, would you mind if I see, uh, would you mind if I do? It's normal to hear them, right? Grammatically, that's fine as well, but we the correct way to write it down is with the past tense, but you can use both forms. The only one that's different, and I think it's there highlighted, is the one with without if. If you don't have if, if you only have would you mind, the verb you see in red is with ing. Here, I was wondering if you mind, if you, have mind and the next word is the verb is with ing. These are the only ones that you have to remember are ing. Okay. Those are the only ones. The other ones, you just use the verbs the way that you want there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you see here, um, do you mind if the verb, if I borrow, right? But when we use would with the if, then we need to use the verb in the past tense. That's going to be the clue. It's not only that the if, but it's the would. When we use the would, that's going to give us the indication. Are those okay? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. For me, it's okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice a little bit. Um, with our partners, we're going to go on to 3.4. And there, there are many situations. And you're going to talk and complete with your partner. So just to make sure that it's clear, with my partners here, there are many requests. Here are the examples. You want to borrow, you want to use your roommate's computer. You would like to, uh, for your neighbor to give you a right to work. 
So all of these situations, what you want to do is make the request. What are you going to use? You're going to use different models, the ones that we talked about. You can use if or gerunds or whatever, okay? So how it's going to be the example? Like here. Here is the normal. You want to borrow your coworkers and their water camera. You are going to write only this part. You're going to write only the part here or the part that you are missing, right? I was wondering if you mind and then, sorry, I was wondering if you mind and then lending me your underwater camera. How would you ask it? So in here, we already have the beginning. Is it okay? Would you mind? Could you? All you need to do is complete it with the correct way to ask. Remember, this is in unit three, it's 3.4. 3.4. So with our partners, we're going to have, yeah, there's four of them. So I think it's important that we make sure that it's clear. So we're going to take about just three minutes, you know, four minutes, one minute for each one. That way you don't have excused it. I don't have the time to finish. So we're going to take four minutes and make sure that we do all of them correctly. Okay. And check with your partners. Are you ready? Jose, okay, good. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you will develop skills in listening for specific information. After listening to the audio program, you will complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three requests. Your task is to write down what each caller requests and identify whether the person agrees or disagrees to the request. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. <laughs> my bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So, what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But, you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. <laughs> Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know, Polly, my bird. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy and they make a lot of noise and... No, 
Not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. Okay, so how did you guys do? We did it. And all of them were correct? Yes. Hey, hey that's great. Yes, yeah. Yes, teacher. Anybody that had difficulty or that they did not get all of the answers correct? No, everyone had the correct answers? In my case, yes. Okay, all right. Jonathan, what happened? You're you're on mute, Jonathan, but I see your your I see your mouth moving. Teacher, uh I don't have the correct answers. Okay, well I mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if, if I wrote in a bad way, but I think we can do all the sentences together. To, uh -huh. you, <laughs> to you think? You, uh -huh. <laughs> well, put us in. Put it in there. Share your screen. Well, we can. Okay, help. but I don't know. Maybe I, I can. I can begin if I make. Um, yes. Thank you. Please correct me. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Okay, because I have a doubt. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the first one. Uh, is it okay if I use your computer? That is correct. Uh, that's why I don't know what happened. Did you put a question mark? It appeared. Did you write no, correctly? Did I didn't. You use the, did you I use didn't. the grammar? Ah, then it's wrong. Can okay, you... let's see. Mm -hmm. Negative. Yeah, share your screen. Let's see. We can show. We can help you. Okay. Let's see. I I put the question mark. Well. Well, I have to. I have to to play with the words to, in order to put in the oh. correct way, I think. Share your screen, Jonathan, let's see. It's easier if you share your screen, then we can take a look. Uh, how do you, how can I show my screen? On the bottom? I don't know. <laughs> on the bottom, there's a place okay. that says Compartir Pantalla. Sure, I guess uh, we have no able to share our screens. No, you don't have that? No, I don't have it. I don't have it. Hmm. It's a green button. It's a green button. Ah, shit, a green button. Ah, okay. Do you see it? Here we go. Yes, I can okay. see it. Okay. Okay, like this. This? Can you see it? Not yet. Oh, yet. There, it's loading. It's loading. One moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, first, you don't have to put that. That's what I said. You don't put, is it okay? Only the answer, if. Uh, Remove, is it okay? Eliminate, is it okay? So uh, I have to erase, is it okay? Correct, because it's only the answer. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. And one more space because you have a space at the beginning. There, now try. If I use your, ah, 
and the space with the question mark. You have a space between the question mark and the word. Mm -hmm. You see, Jonathan, it's only about using it correctly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spelling and punctuation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Of course. Of course. Uh, so I put stop share in the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, right. You can oh, put okay. stop okay. share, but but now you have the idea of what is that what it is, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. You see, sometimes we think that it's complicated, but no, it's just eh, it's just there. Okay. So you try the answers and make sure that it's correct. Okay. No problem. I'm going to make sure I'll, I'll share some with you to make sure that everybody has the correct ones. But sometimes that's the question. So here, if you didn't, or if you don't have it, here are the ways that you can have. Here are the different forms. If I use your computer, if I use all of these forms, for example, giving me a ride, would you mind? Giving me a ride to work is the correct way, right? Or could you help me move on Saturday? Okay, and the last one, I was wondering if you'd mind, and then because of mind again, we have to use the ING. If you mind giving me a second piece of pie. These are the four options that you have to make it correct. Is that okay for everyone? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now, we're going to take a look at today's topic, which is favors. So what's today's topic is just listening for favors, okay? So we're going to be practicing our listening skills. Here we have a favors. We're going to listen to three people talking, and I want you to identify what is the favor and if they accept or don't accept to do the favor. So three people are talking. We have to answer two questions. One, what is the favor that they are being asked? And two, do they accept or don't accept to do the favor? It's okay. Does everybody understand favor? Hi, everyone. Yes. With the end of the it's Tina. Oh. Hi, Hello. Tina. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. My bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But, you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know, Polly, my bird. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy and they make a lot of noise and... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. One more time, or is that okay? It's okay. It's okay. One more time, teacher. One more time. Okay, we'll try one more time. It's Tina. Hi, teacher. 
and identify whether the person agrees or disagrees to the request. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. My bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So, what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But, you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. <laughs> Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know. Polly. My bird? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy, and they make a lot of noise, and... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay. But you owe me one. Okay. So let's take a look. In number one, what was the idea? What were they talking about? It's about Tina. Tina wants to borrow the camera. Camera. Perfect. Good. And yeah, does because mm -hmm. ah, I'm so sorry. Because she wants to take it for about a new apartment. Okay, and does the friend accept or doesn't accept? Accept. Accept. Good. Good. What about conversation two? What do they want to borrow? A bread maker. I want to borrow a bread maker. A bread maker. That's right. Okay, a bread maker. And? Do they accept or don't accept to buy, to lend the bread maker? Don't yes, accept. accept. Yes. 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 Why not? Why does it accept? It's broken. Because it's broken. Because it's broken. She said it was broken. Very good. They said it was broken. Good. And what about number three? What was topic number three? Phil wants to leave uh, his beard. To take care of Polly, that's right, the bird, right? And what does she say, yes or no? Yes. My name is... More, more yeah. or less, right? She says yes, but I... But you owe me a favor. She doesn't <laughs> know. She doesn't right? know. At the beginning, she doesn't want to do the favor, but she says, oh, but... But later you have to pay <laughs> with another favor. Okay. Good. Now all of these are requests. We're going to practice with our partners in this moment. With our partners, we're going to make five requests and you can accept or you can refuse. So as an example, I'm going to ask my partner and I'm going to say, oh, uh, could I borrow $50? And my partner can tell me, sure, no problem, or no, I'm sorry, I don't have the money, or uh, I, that is too, when are you going to pay me, for example? Whatever you want. <laughs> you can make any request that you want. The important is to practice making the request and give complete answers. So as an example, if you say, can I borrow $50? Is not correct, no. 
is not correct, no, you can't. Is necessary, is obligation, give a complete answer. No, I'm sorry, I don't have $50. Or no, I could, I could lend you $25. I don't have $50. Or maybe, yes, can you come to my house today and get the $50? So the answer is not correct, only no or yes. And it's important, practice the complete sentence. It's okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we're going to try with our partners. And it's only five requests, only five and five. So we don't need a lot of time. We only need a few minutes. We'll have three minutes with our partners, okay? First, I make five requests, and then my partner make five requests. And Jonathan and Lemar, do you practice here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So should I, should I say that question? Whatever I want? Remember, you need five. Five to five. Okay. Jonathan mm. needs to answer. Would you mind lending me some money? <laughs> Hey, Maritza, what happened? No partner. I don't have a partner. No problem, Maritza. Let me fix this and I help you. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to your partner. Okay. Let's try this way. Box. Am I right? Oh, a hundred. I can't. No problem. Yes, I would. <laughs> I can give you five hundred if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just kidding. No, just okay. kidding. <laughs> okay, okay. Now my turn. Okay. 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 For it, I have an. Would you mind? And uh, borrow me your car for tomorrow. Sorry, borrow, sorry. Le, le, no, uh, is lending. not correct. Lend, lending me your car. Lending, lending me your car for tomorrow. Es que borrow es cuando, cuando yo pido I. prestado. Can I borrow? Ajá. Borrow es pedir prestado. Pero no, y si ese ha sido prestado. con borrow, no, no se puede. O sea, no, ya yeah. no sería you, ¿verdad? O, o, no, you have to change. So it's can I borrow or can you lend? Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Can you lend? Okay. Okay, so um, would you mind uh, lending me your car tomorrow? No. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very difficult <laughs> question. <laughs> no, I can't. O como decía, a mí sí me importa. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo puedo decir eso? Ah, <laughs> Yes, I, I, it's good. I you can. can ask me. You can. You can. You. You, uh, you can answer me. You can use Uber. <laughs> I can borrow. I can, I can lend you the money for an Uber. <laughs> okay. 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 Good. All right, guys. So we had the opportunity to practice a little bit, right, with our partners. Um, I think it's pretty easy to make requests. The difficult is to say no to your friends. <laughs> hey, can I can I do this? Can I do that? I, hey, but please help me, help me. And then you are, I, I don't. It's it's almost like the the favor with Polly. Okay, but you have to do me a favor later. It's difficult to give an excuse. Teacher, you have to teach us to make some excuses. <laughs> the excuses are easy. The problem is the culture. Because in the in the American culture, can you lend me some, no? Sorry, I can't. It's your responsibility. Be a, be better with your money. Budget. Earn more. Work more. It's, it's normal. But in El Salvador, I, I, I and, and the, all my feelings, all my emotions, I, I don't know. No, no, no. Uh-huh. So, 
the excuses are the, the excuse is easy. For example, hey Jonathan, can I borrow twenty dollars? No, right? I don't know you. You're not my friend. But in El Salvador, we don't like to be direct. In El Salvador, people use a gun or a knife. Hey, can I borrow twenty dollars? Then you hey, have to say yes. <laughs> is your is your money? Is your money? Can can I have one dollar? Hey, really, really? I saw I saw with uh, in the bus. They, they have the gun and they say, they take the money and the guy say, hey, 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 I need $1 to go home. And the guy returned $1 that he stole from to give him to go home. <laughs> wow. He was considered. Very yes, polite. He said, very, he said, very well, he said hey, 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 I, I, I have to get home. Give me my dollar. I need a dollar. Yeah, okay, here's $1. And, and gave him $1 and gave him $1. And but kept the money, right? But <laughs> only in El Salvador, only in El Salvador. Only in El Salvador. We yeah. need more people like that. Yes. Yes, consider it. <laughs> consider it. <laughs> okay. Great. Now we go on to our next topic. We understand how to make direct requests. That's the one that we just practiced. Those are direct, right? Or sorry, those are indirect because. Uh, here we're going to be looking at how we use it with that okay and instead of asking the person directly is you are telling another person so i don't tell jonathan can i borrow five dollars i tell uh limar to tell jonathan hey limar could you tell jonathan um that i need to borrow five dollars this is the indirect so do you remember, the easy way to remember is indirect is not with the person, it's another person. It's like a big circle in order to do. So let's watch the small video and maybe we have a better understanding. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to make indirect requests. We will focus on turning statements into indirect requests. Now let's, discuss what indirect requests are. So indirect requests means that you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Let's say, for example, you call a person and the person is not there um, and you leave a message for that person. Well, this is what we call an indirect request. So let me present some structure. If you see the chart on the screen, we can see how this structure changes depending on the type of sentence. So if we have statements, imperatives, yes and no questions, and WH questions, those will be different whenever we change them to indirect requests. Uh, now, I'll be discussing this individually. Uh, and then um, we're going to try to make sense of all of them together. The idea is to be able to make uh, to, to take any kind of um, sentence and then change that to a form of indirect request. So in this particular lesson, we're going to focus with the first one, with statements. So as we can see, um, statements are quite easy to change, right? We have a statement there, Jeff, Tony's having a party. So that statement. Okay, I'm gonna pause because I think it's pretty easy. We can read and we can identify. We don't need to watch the entire video to get the idea. Here we have a sentence, right? The sentence, Tony's having a party. I want to ask Jeff. So the only thing that I do is, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Now, I just tell and not ask because I am informing. The same here, I am informing. I am not asking for information. But here, ah, here, are you free on Friday? This is a question, it's not a statement. So here, I don't use tell. Here, I have to use ask, right? Can you ask Sophia? And then we use if she's free on Friday or can you, could you ask her whether or not she has a, sorry, she has my number. This is, we use if or whether, if the question is yes or no. That means if the question is with an auxiliary, like are, do, is, does, then we make just like with if or whether. Now, if we are asking for information, like what, when, where, then, you see here, we don't use if and we don't use whether. We only use the same structure. Can you or could you ask the person and then the question when the party starts or 
what time I should pick her up, right? If you notice, what is the difference in indirect request? In indirect request, we do not use the auxiliary. We do not say when does the party start, only when and then the party starts. And we have like a sentence, the structure, okay? Okay, let's take a look at a few more examples, right? So that it's clear for us, because this guy talks a lot, okay? So here, Tony is going to invite everyone from work, okay? Ah, so we want to talk to Tony, Could, or we want to tell Jeff, sorry, here's Jeff. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to invite, invite everyone from work? Why tell? Because it's not a question, it's only information. So imagine you don't come to class. A, okay, could you tell the teacher I am sick? Ah, only inform me, not ask me, can I be sick? Does that make sense? A little bit? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So similar, we have really, this part is a lot of videos, okay? So what we're going to do, okay, let me see. Yes, yes, Rodrigo, you're right. It, it's beginning to rain here too. So maybe for some people, I understand maybe the internet is a little difficult. When it begins raining, sometimes in some areas it's difficult. If you have problems, don't worry. Always the, the class is on YouTube if, if you have issues, okay? Um, for this reason, uh, we were going to be in partners watching the videos, but maybe it's better we watch together because my internet is, is stable and then you can watch from me, okay? From my channel. So let me put here. Okay. So we're going to watch the videos. If you have any questions, you ask me. So let's finish watching this video about the request. Of like have the same thing we only added and i'm going to highlight that in red we only added could you tell jeff that right because that the message is for jeff once again right? very clear right the sentence tony is going to invite everyone from work indirect request only put could you tell and then the person could you tell jeff that and then the same sentence because it's only informing so you don't have to change the sentence, only add, add the request. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is going to invite everyone from work? And I'll highlight that in yellow so you can see. So this was the only thing that we added. And we're going to do the same thing for other kinds of statements. Uh, and so let's play around with other kinds of statements real quick. Um, let's see, something related to a party, right? And we want to give the message to Jeff. All right. Um, okay. Um, so let me change the size a little bit. So Jeff, Tony is going to have a lot of food and drinks at the party. So how can we change this to an indirect request or an indirect message? Well, first of all, I mentioned that um, at this point, because everything is directed towards uh, Jeff, uh, we want to say, could you tell Jeff that? And we're simply going to copy this, as you can see. And by the way, uh, something that I forgot to do was I just forgot to add this question mark here. Right? So you can see it's easier when you see it with this because all you are doing is you are taking the sentence and putting at the end and then just add the question at the beginning. So you take the sentence, you put at the end and you add the question at the beginning. Is that okay? Any questions? No, no question. When can we can can we use could you or can you? Ah, very good. That was for the informal. Remember, we had the idea for when we uh when we use it. Let me see if I remember. Here, I think it's this video. But both ways are correct. Yes, both ways are correct. If we remember here, 
we can see the list between formal and informal. If we see the first, the less formal, like with your friend or your family, it's this one, can or could. And then the more formal is here, this one. Do you mind? Would it be okay? Like that. But both forms are correct. Any other questions? Okay. We're going to look a little bit more at another indirect request with the verb, okay, with infinitives. Let's try. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to make indirect requests. In this class, we will focus on turning imperatives into indirect requests. We use indirect requests when you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Well, let's say, for example, you call a person and the person is not there, uh, but uh, maybe the assistant or a receptionist answers the phone. So you leave a message with that person. This is what we call an indirect request. So let me present the structure. If you see the chart on the screen, we can see how the structure Hey, this part we already had. I don't know why he speaks again in part two of the video. Okay. So here we can just see the correct structure, right? All we're doing is practicing, okay? So I say, hey, bring some drinks or hey, go, don't be late. And all you do is tell the person the same information. Can you hear me? because it's raining very loud in my house. Yes, Mr. Yes, teacher. Yes, I hear you. Okay. Okay, good. My internet failed at once again. Uh -huh. How that? It's, it's pretty hard. So what yeah. we're going to do is we are going to practice with our partners. With our partners, we're going to practice making indirect requests. Okay. So, for example, if my partner is Marvin, I'm not going to ask Marvin. I'm going to say, Marvin, could you ask the Jonathan? Could you ask Lydia? Could you ask the other person? For this activity, what we're going to do is we're going to have groups of three. So, one person asks for the other person, right? So, imagine Marvin, Jonathan, and me are in the same group. I am going to say, hey, Marvin, can you ask Jonathan to help me with the homework? Or uh, could you ask Jonathan to bring a pizza to the party? Whatever request. The important is only to make the request. It's okay? Yes. Okay. Perfect, let's try it then.
Um, so the imperative is, Jeff, don't be late. Now this, we're going to turn it into an indirect request by using infinitives. And so the way that we will do this is that we will use can you tell plus the object, and then we'll use an infinitive. This infinitive could be in a negative form, or it could also be in a positive form. Uh, so let me just quickly point out the structure that we're going to be using. Um, all right. Uh, so I mentioned uh, we're going to use could. Um, this can also be can, by the way. And uh, then we're going to use um, a subject there. It could be you, but uh, it could be any other subject as well, right? And then uh, typically we're, we will use the verb tell. And then I mentioned this is going to be followed by the object. The object is who are we giving that message to? So for example, in this case, it happens to be Jeff. Um, and after that, we will use um, an infinitive, as I mentioned. Uh, this could be in the form of a negative infinitive. Uh, so in this case, uh, let's just take that example there. Um, can you, and I will tell the object it's Jeff, all right? And in this case, uh, this happens to be a negative one, so we will say not to be late. And then we'll put a question mark, and that's how we would change um, an imperative into an indirect request. So now let's say that the imperative is different. Okay, now we're gonna, I'm gonna give an example of a positive one. So what would be that? Well, maybe we want to give a message to Jeff. Jeff was not there, so but we talked to the uh, to his assistant. So uh, bring some uh, drinks for the party. All right, that's the message that we want to give to Jeff. This is in the form of an imperative. So how do we go about changing this into um, an indirect request? Well, again, we mentioned we will use could, and then we'll use you. Uh, in this case, we will use the verb tell. The object I mentioned is Jeff. All right, so we will say, could you tell Jeff? And if you notice, this is not in a negative form, so therefore, we will not use not, okay? And we will simply use the infinitive form. Could you tell, could you tell Jeff to bring? or not to, uh, and then the verb, right? So if we have a negative form, uh, so let me just quickly point out the structure that we're going to be using. Um, all right. Uh, Okay, let's try a little bit here in the class and make sure that it's correct for everyone. Okay, Marvin, ask Lydia an indirect request for Jonathan. Okay. Hi, Lydia. Hi. Will you, will you please uh, tell Jonathan when is going to be the, the play of Selecta? Ah, not tell because you are not giving the information. Can you please ask? Ask. Them? ask. Okay. Try again, Marvin. Lydia, can you? Okay. Lydia, can you ask Jonathan uh, when is the play of Selecta? Yes, I can. Jonathan, mm -hmm. when play the select? Exactly. Good. Now, Lydia, ask Jonathan in the room. Okay. For Dennis. As for Jonathan Dennis. Indirect for Dennis. Uh, Jonathan. Okay. Could you tell uh, Dennis? 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 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> Uh -huh. I don't okay. know. It's a question. Invent, it's okay. I, I'm so sorry, teacher. How, how do you say? <laughs> um, añejo. Añejo. Like the tequila, añejo. Like the wine. Aged. Uh -huh. Why? Aged. An age. Uh, Age. I'm sorry, teacher, I lost. And what oh, did you practice oh. in the group, Lydia? Mm. The same, it's the same activity, not a new activity. Don't worry, listen, listen, maybe Jonathan can give you an example. Jonathan, ask Dennis an indirect request for Sergio. For Sergio, okay. Uh, Dennis, could you ask uh, Sergio, uh, what time he gets up? Okay, good. What time he gets up? He gets up. Okay, excellent. Um, Sergio, uh, could you uh, could you tell me what time do you get up? And yeah, it's the same. Uh -huh. What time do you get up? Good. All right. Dennis, ask Sergio an indirect for Carla. Carla, okay. Sergio, uh, could you ask Carla if she she can uh, she can give me she can help me with my homework? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, now Lydia, you heard two examples. Now Lydia, make your example. Okay. Um, um, Sergio, could you ask uh, Jonathan, help me play my birthday? If, can you ask Jonathan if? If? He can. Okay. Help me play my birthday. Jugar tu cumpleaños. Help me play. Ah, plan. 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 Help me plan my birthday. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Plan. That's good. That's correct. Good. So, as you can see, it's really, it's easy, but you need to practice. It's all. Mm -hmm. Yes. The structure is easy. The structure is easy, mm. but ah, but when you practice, you have to be quick. It's that way you think and you have, all right? Okay. Okay, guys. We are, uh, I put um, in the chat for the people that haven't worked in the platform, but I think that the people that don't work in the platform don't come to the class because it's Jonathan Alonso Bonilla, Reina Beatriz is not in the class. Tania Yamilet, not here. Jose Andres Perez. So don't worry, because these are the people that have zero for the platform. So <laughs> it's not you. Relax. <laughs> it's don't worry. It's only that way they, they don't have excuse that, hey, uh, the teacher never told me. The teacher non, doesn't explain. No, no, no. I tell you with time. Okay? If you don't pass, you don't pass. It's your responsibility. But... I'm happy for you guys. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And tomorrow we will continue with unit three. Continue working in the platform, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank, thank you. you too. Okay. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Ciao.